Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what a win. What a win, everybody. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. First away win of the season, away in Lancashire, Blackpool. First of all, I'd like to apologise just for this because my chain is in and I've got a mouth guard on above my retainer now. So I'm I'm talking a little bit funny and smiling. This is this looks a bit blocky, doesn't it? So I apologise for that. But anyway, back to the main point. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What a result. What a result. I am I am buzzing. I might not say it, but I'm just tired. I am super, super happy with that. And it needs to be the start of something now. That good result needs to be the beginning of the revival. Because tonight, they all had good games, don't get me wrong, but the ones who impressed me the most were Woods, were Doherty and were Slater. Woods brought in in the summer, but wasn't your typical, your fashionable signing that we were going for. He was your championship experience back up for Serri and he was incredible in that midfield. And then Slater and Doherty, two players who we had in League One. Oh. Doherty's goal. Oh, my. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know what? We'll talk more about the game in a second. But the team selection, the team selection was really, really weird. It, no one knew what formation he was going to play because we had the three centre-backs. But then it was like, who's going to go left wing back? Who's going to go up front? And why have we got three centre backs, four centre mids, two wingers, a right back and a goalie? That doesn't make sense. But it was a 4-3-3 with Baxter in net, back four, Christie, Figueredo, Jones and Greaves at left back again. Um, the midfield, well, the midfield three was... It looked as though it was a double pivot, uh, or mostly of Seri and Woods together with Slater in the box-to-box -box role, and then Doherty was on the right when he did really well. He just it was just sort of given free room at the pitch. Was Doherty? It was like right, I'm going to start you right wing, but you can go wherever you fancy, and Doherty did that and did it incredibly well. Then it was Pelkas on the left and Ryan Longman up front. Ryan, I'm so pleased for Ryan. You know, I had a I had a chat with him, with Ryan with Ryan Longman the other day before the Birmingham game, just to sort of, well, for me anyway, try it well to do what I could to sort of reassure him that the whole fan base didn't hate him. Um, I won't disclose everything of what I said, but I just tried to say, look, Ryan. We know you're a good player. Just don't listen to them. And that was the long and short of what I said. But, it, it, I mean, I'm not going to take any credit for it, but do you, know, do you know what I mean? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, Ryan, um, you know, the corner whipped in by Pelkas. I thought I thought initially that's an awful delivery. But then Woods just managed to get a little flick on with his uh, with his foot. Flicked it on into the danger area where there were loads of bodies. It deflected off. It deflected off somebody. Excuse me, into Longman, who managed to just get enough on it to keep it. Well, to put it in the back. Well, I won't, I won't, no, not in the back of the net. Pass well over the line because our goal line technology had to help us out. Because Ma despite Maxwell's best efforts to keep it out, it wouldn't stay out, and that was one nil uh, for their equaliser. Seri gave the ball away and then like I've seen blame go on a whole mixture of people. Seri for giving the ball away, Greaves uh, for you know having for a massive gap, Greaves for not stopping the cross, Figueredo for marking Cyrus Christie instead of marking Kenny Dougal. So but you know what? We're we're a team. We're a team. Um but and it doesn't matter anyway. Even though we didn't get the clean sheet, we still managed to get the result. Doherty's effort, you know, a ball into the box by Longman, headed away. Seri recovered possession really well, found Woods, who gave the ball to Doherty, who, with his back to goal, did a little turn, took the ball out of his feet, 
and wow, what a hit. No goalie in the world is stopping that. And then after the break, we were just consolidating it really. And then Slater just, ah. Oh. Ball fell to him after Greaves' effort was blocked. And it was going in anyway, but the deflection just managed to help it along. Deceive Maxwell. Jobs are good and good stuff. Um, resting Oscar tonight. I think that was that was a bold call, but he, Oscar needed a rest. And with only the one striker, yes, we've got Tyler Smith, but and, you know Jim Sims, Will Jarvis, Josh Hines in the academy. But let's face it, none of them are on Oscar's level. So keeping him fit, especially with no Ben Tete, with no Syed Manesh, is such, such a crucial thing. And the same with Ozan. And the same with Cynic, really, after he came off injured, it was very always going to be unlikely that he was going to start. So Andy Dawson's done right, just giving him a few minutes at the end. And then, um, yeah, putting him on the bench. Yeah, good stuff. Still no return for Louis Coyle and Callum Elba, but they shouldn't be too far away. And, yeah, quality. Absolutely quality. To a man, we were excellent tonight. Defence was solid. Seri had a fantastic game. Woods just kept us ticking over really nicely in the way that Smallwood did, but he was a bit more involved than what Smallwood was last season in terms of like going forward, picking a pass. Incredible. And then Brandon Fleming got his return from injury as well, which is always, always a positive. Players coming back from injury, that's very, very good. We're slowly... Slowly getting there now. Just in the this next month, in the run-up to the World Cup, will be weak. But then after that, after the World Cup, we'll have, what, five games with the current squad we've got, where we'll just be missing Traore and Tete um, through lack of registration. Uh, and, and Andy Cannon, James Scott, Josh Emmanuel as well. But in terms of like new signings, who what what we've got, what we've got and who are missing, it's only those two. Because Ali will be back, um, Salah will be back, Vale should be back in the next two or three weeks, and then who el who else is missing? The list is getting smaller. The list is getting smaller. Do, uh, you know, week by week, it's getting smaller and hopefully that trend can continue. But thank you very much for watching. First away win of the season. Hopefully we can carry that on into Rotherham on Saturday when you will get a match day vlog. So yeah, take care everyone. Until then, see you later. Goodbye.